If you're looking for a Power BI job, should you just work with a recruiter? Now, I recently sent out an email talking about one of my goals uh, for the new feature is to do something to really help my uh, students and followers find jobs because I felt that, you know, I mean, Power BI is just a tool. It's just a stepping stone. And what most folks that I talk to are looking for is to grow in their career, to find that first job, find that next job, or, you know, even find those consulting opportunities. So how can I help them there? And I shared that with my audience. Now, I got a very interesting comment back from uh, one of our followers. And so that, Avi, do you really need to do this? Why bother? They can just work with a recruiter. And it does sound really tempting, doesn't it? I like, oh yeah, why put in the hard work? Just find the good recruiter and they'll find the job for you. But is there a catch? I wanna to talk to you about that. But let me give you some context. First of all, if you don't know me, I'm Avi Singh and my goal for you is to not just learn Power BI, but become a pro. And that means getting, getting breakthrough success in your Power BI career, but also creating a life of freedom. Now, if that's what you want, make sure to follow me on LinkedIn and on YouTube. So let's get to our question that, hey, what's, you know, why, why should I bother trying to teach everybody uh, everything that I've learned through my experience in corporate America about job hunting and what I've learned from thousands of my students. And that's where I feel lucky that I, I get to learn from all of them, right? I mean, I hear their stories, their experiences, what's working, what's not working, and I can put it all together and create a resource and say, hey, if you're looking for jobs, this is the insiders, guys. This is how the industry really works. This is what the hiring employer is really looking for, how to nail your interview, all of these things. Now, of course, that's gonna take effort, right? And, and you know, but, but, but what about that recruiter option? It's like, I mean, if you are good at Power BI or whatever your skills are, shouldn't you just go to a recruiter and have them find you a job? Now, again, that's, that can seem tempting. And guys, I'll warn you that sometimes job seekers, they try to find the easy way. It is easy. I know you, it feels like you're really working hard. I know I, I talk to people who are looking for, who are out of job or between jobs and they're kind of desperate. But what they're doing is that they have their resume and they're emailing it to, I don't know, like 100 people a week or something. Now, that sounds like work, but that's still lazy work, right? That's not... Right, I mean, that's not putting in the right work. So recruiter thing, again, it seems tempting because like, yep, I just find a recruiter and they find the job for me. But let me, let me put it this way for you. You wanna work obviously with a good recruiter, right? I'm mean, a recruiter who's really connected with the good employers, top employers, a recruiter who's gonna take care of you, right? I mean, it's not just, doesn't see you as a, as a body or a resume. I was like, yep, I'm gonna, fit you in you know, the, the right slot and be done with it, earn my commission. No, somebody who genuinely cares about you and cares about the company and finds a match which is gonna be a win-win for both parties. Now that is gonna be a good recruiter. Now that's what I call an A player, right? So you wanna work with an A player. Now here's the question though. The A player recruiters, the A level recruiters, what kind of candidates do they want to work with? Now, obviously, they're not going to just work with anybody who walks in through their doors. A-level players want, A-level recruiters are going to work with A-level candidates. So, so you have to sell yourself to the recruiter anyway. And frankly, that's not that much different than selling yourself to an employer. So it may seem that that's the easy route. And I'm not saying, I'm not discounting it. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it but walk into it with your eyes wide open, right? I mean, don't think that, oh yeah, all I have to do is do this resume, throw it over the wall, and they do all the hard work. No, you gotta have to do the homework to find a good recruiter, talk to them, interview, and again, interview them. And, and that's the same thing with employer. When they're interviewing you, you should be interviewing them. A lot of people don't do that, right? So, so you're gonna go through the same process and, and, and then yes, if you sell yourself to them and they sell themselves to you, if you think they're a good match, then yeah, you, you know, you, you hand them the resume and so forth and they do what they do and they may be able to find you a good position. 
But again, that changes nothing. The work that you're going to put in, the work that you should be putting in to find a good job, a good fit for you, you're going to have to do that anyway, whether or not you work with a recruiter. All right, folks. So, so again, uh, what, I, what, what it started was with this idea that I put together a resource with all of my knowledge, everything in there, and just which, which just helps people find a job. Uh, a lot of it is in my head. I talk about it in my live events, but it's not there. If, if you feel that that's going to be helpful to you, just leave a comment and let me know. Now, if you do have any other Power BI career related questions, let them, uh, put them in the comment below and I'll make sure to answer that. Um, or if you like, you can join me for one of our live events. Go find them at talkpowerbi.com. I'll see you next time. Until then, power on. <music>